Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Daily Duel. So today is Monday, and we are using the VZW Utopia deck. So, uh, much better. It's opening up much better now. You know, not bad. So, what's this one do? Uh, monster can't be destroyed by battle. Ah, uh, this one's not that good. It's not the best. Uh, yeah, I can definitely tell by that. Alright, so we're just gonna do, like, you know, the usual, the... Uh, sure, I love that to make Goblin Bird effect. So, how are you guys doing today? I am doing fairly well. I mean, this is a pre-recording, of course, it's Sunday. And, uh, I had another pack opening. Uh, seems like you guys really enjoyed the, uh, live pack opening, despite the, the commentary, so... Uh, if you guys did enjoy that, I apologize, but, uh, like I said, the audio was off sync. Uh, there will be another one today at 1.30. It's a short one. It's a short one. It's, like, it's not going to be as long. But, uh, you know, this Utopia deck is going to be played. Not sure if I want to equip this yet. Oh, Constellers, I'm going to get my butt kicked. I'm going to get my butt kicked. He's going to bounce the crap out of me, and I'm, I'm not going to be a ha happy camper. Summon your calls. Okay. Still trying to like figure out what you're what you're planning on doing. Okay, well that summoned that. This one's normal summon search for another constella, which you're gonna search for. Lots of people are actually using this Utopia deck, you know? It's a pretty budget deck, you know, multi Utopia can get really strong, can OTK, uh, so, uh I've been working on it, tweaked it a little bit from last time, you know, I brought down the uh the Barians, and I think I should uh, probably take out the Barian and put in the new one that came out in Judgment of the Light. So, since... Shouldn't you just normal? I mean, unless you have, like, another, uh... Another, uh... Pollux, shouldn't you just normal summon the Sheraton? You know, these two don't even have any synergy right now. Uh, yeah, look at the back row. My favorite back row. <laughs> So, uh, now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm going to do right now. Now I run the MSTs, but I didn't get the MST, so I got nothing to pop. Uh, I mean, I want to get rid of this Pollux. I definitely want to get rid of the Pollux. That's, like, my biggest concern, but, uh, I'm probably just gonna run right into a D-Prison, but, uh, I really don't have a choice. I, I gotta make the push. And this guy won't save me. If only I had, like, uh, the Tiger guy. That's why your monus monsters your opponent cannot target that monster Oh wow, okay, my bad. Actually this guy's good. I just didn't read him right. Well, time to get D prison and then learn my lesson that this guy's actually good, because if he plays D prison, at least I wouldn't have been targeted. <laughs> oh, fiendish chain. Once again, at least I wouldn't have been targeted. Oh, now I gotta definitely figure out a way to get out of this bind, because he's gonna summon the calls, make up pleadies, and I'm gonna be, um, butt-screwed. I'm gonna be... I'm screwed. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be so screwed. <sighs> so, my only... method is to make a Shockmaster and call monster effects. That's my only idea I can think of right now. It's just call... Shockmaster, call monster effects, so... at least, uh, you know... You can't level them up to five with, uh... Nope. I guess I'm not gonna do that. So this is only when it's normal summoned, right? And this one too, right? Yep. So not even Monster Reborn will save me. Oh my god. Damn you, Constellers. You are such a bitch. Alright. Oh. Last-ditch effort. Myself into Utopia Ray V and then equip that to him. So I'm 38 and I can't be targeted, but he can still bounce this back. Uh, as best as I can do. I couldn't get through your trap cards, I'm sorry. <laughs> Calls. Make these two level 5. At least I can't be targeted, so. These pleadies can't bounce me. I might be okay. <sighs> so, since the uh, second video for the opening 
the sneak peek is so short, I'm pretty much just going to tell you what went down with this without spoiling anything of the video. So, today at my locals was, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Appreciation Day. I don't, I don't know where they got this from, because last week it was actually Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. And I was like, hey, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, you guys didn't do anything? And they were like, no, what's Yu-Gi-Oh! Day? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I guess no Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. But, uh, you know, this week they decided to be like, hey, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Appreciation Day. We're doing giveaways and stuff and stuff and stuff. So, Sunday I decided not to enter the tournament, and I really wasn't, like, into it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about, uh, Saturday's tournament, because I did enter Saturday, so... Uh, Saturday, I entered the tournament. Okay. So you're gonna go for Paladimino, but... I... You can't target me, so... Uh, thank you, Tornado Bringer. <laughs> uh, so, I entered the tournament. You know, it's five bucks to get in. Uh, of course. He has the answers. I can't call this episode answers because last episode was called answers. But he has the answers. God. I, I, I don't know what just happened here. I don't know why you didn't like use your effects, you know. Destroy that. Please destroy that. Because it's going to be something to up me. It's gonna be like another fiendish chain or like another bottomless or the prison or something. So get that out of the way, please. So, uh, this, you know, and my locals are not that big. So if you lose twice, then you might as well drop because you're not gonna top. Sometimes if you lose even once, you might not top. So it's kind of like, like top eight. Compulse. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. <sighs> Ah. So what would be the smartest play? Well, he has one card in his hand. He's he's running low on resources. So I'm gonna kill the Pallet Domino. All I have left is the Sheraton. I can Monster Born the Tornado Bringer. So I'm I'm gonna be out of thinking. I'm not gonna use. Sound a monk. So round one, I go up against heroes, and you're thinking like, oh, well, and you probably got that right, you know, Ebel versus heroes. You know, it's like, you know, your worst enemy. Ah, you should be able to like get him. All right, so can I equip this thing? You can target with Utopia. Equip this card from your hand or your side of the field. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Activate Monster Reborn. We're gonna bring back my uh, Tornado Bringer. No, that's not bad. I don't know what kind of special summon. Oh, he right here. He compulsed it. Right. I was like, wait, didn't, wasn't he gone? All right. Well, his D is just way too much for me. But I gotta get rid of this guy. So. Uh, just gonna go ahead and equip this to this. Oop, sorry about that. Just run over. So, we go round one. To, I, you know, I just, I, op I didn't open up that well. So, I go ahead and draw your card. So, I know, I'll, I'll just do a simple play. I just, you know, uh, you know, summon my level of chain, get everything set up with the Doom Shaman, and, you know, oh, wow, frick, top deck. Whew, that. That Sombre top neck. <laughs> it's the, it, he makes miracles, man. He makes miracles. <laughs> no. It's like just, just miracles just pulling it, man. Sombre is like the miracle top decker. So you're gonna get your Pollux by moving play. Calls is really weird. Usually it's the other way around. Anyway, uh, you know, I try to set myself up and I think I'm gonna be okay. And, uh, pretty much he just opens up broke on my butt. Like, he goes... He opens up with Dark Hole and Monster Reborn. Yeah, I know. So I'm like, wow, you opened up broken? He's like, oh, opened up. Okay. And it's, it's like, Dark Hole and Monster Reborn, sir? 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 You opened up with Dark Hole and Monster Reborn. How was that? Okay. Anyway. He goes, Dark Hole me. 
He goes, E call for Stratos. Summon Stratos. Search for Bubble Man. Says the entire hands. Plus summon Bubble Man. Make a blade armor. Detach the Stratos. Blade armor can attack twice. Monster reborn to Stratos. Stratos, search Bubble Man, summon the Bubble Man, make another blade armor, detach, attack, 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 game. Like Yup. Thanks for that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So we go into round two, and uh, you know, I sided my deck lockdowns because I'm like, well, deck lockdown gets heroes, you know, e-cost draws, well, you just lock it down, you know. Uh, so I open up deck lockdown, I play, but I don't open up really good hands, so I'm kind of like shaky with it. You know, my plays aren't, you know, the best. So uh, I was up and playing, it, and then all of a sudden, uh, he just like flips it around on me. He, play, he plays dark hole again. He you know, Stratos is mixed bottom and hits me with like a blade armor and stuff again. So my my points get dropped down to 800. So then I turn around the game and I summon, you know, Black Bedrago. I have a strong beater on the field. I'm like, all right, this is this is pretty nice. This will actually, you know, this might work out. All right, you can banish my Stellar. Uh, does he have any more Constellars? No, he doesn't. I, I really don't know how this guy, Constellar guy is playing right now. He's playing really weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the... You get into... During the charter's normal summon, you can normal summon a Constellar in addition to... Okay. I'm gonna take out this, the Sombre then. So, uh, I finally summoned Black Bedrago, you know, I tried to turn around the game, but my life points are at 800, so he summons two level 4s and exceeds, and guess who? Well, keep in mind, my life points at 800, exactly. Yep, summons the Cowboy and shoots me in the foot for game, like, yep, that's the game, so, uh, I lose round 1, I just start off the gates just sucking butt, so, I just straight up lost. So, uh, and I was kind of, I was a little bit salty, but, you know. There's nothing I could have done. So he's pretty much just like, hmm, yeah. That guy thought he thought he was hot shit. He was just like, you know, you opened up much better than I did. But that's just Yu-Gi-Oh for you. Ooh, Omega. Okay, I don't understand what, what Omega's gonna do against me right now. Are you gonna like Torrental Tribute? That must be it. You're gonna summon Omega, then you're gonna Torrental, and then you're gonna detach Omega to stop, right? That's your plan? That's your plan? And I'm trying to figure out something that this Constellar guy is doing because he is just confusing me, you know. You know, I mean, Constellars aren't the most. Oh, Potomac M7. Okay, sure. Can't use the effect attorney summon, so, and I'm still stronger than you. Okay. Well, the attorney summon like that through the Constellar method. If you go two level sixes and you know, go ahead use the effect. So we got a round two. I'm um, now. 0-1, and like I said, keep in mind that if you lose 2, you might as well drop, so, despite me and my first loss, you know, if I win all the other ones, I might have a chance at top 8. So, we go round 2, and I go up against another person who lost, and he was running a relinqu relinquished deck. As you guys know, or you might not know, I have a group called the Four Horsemen, where um, each one of us run a dark deck, and, you know, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, so. Uh, we got Pestilence, who runs a Vemininaga deck, Famine, who runs a relinquished deck, War runs an Dragon deck, and me, Death, I run a Ubel deck, so it kind of fits. So, him running a Relinquish deck, I knew all the holes in his plan, so I pretty much just kick his butt. I 2 owe him. You know, I just knew all of his moves, you know, it's just like, I'm like, sorry, you know, I made the deck, I played the deck, and I know how it goes. You know, so I wasn't really, like, in shock with his play, so I 2 owe him. So now I'm 1-1, one and, one, and, uh, the next round, I get to go against, guess what? Guess what? No, not, not Prophecy. No, not Elemental Dragon. If you guys remember from a last Saturday video, I said I dueled against a guy who was running Worms. Can't you only activate one Insta Fusion per turn? Yeah, that sucks. It's not a bad card, it's just not the best card for me right now. Alright, so of course, once again, I'm just going to attack your Potomac M7. Now I'm still trying to figure out what this guy is do trying to do, you know? Now these are just bait. Just to scare him. Just to be like, oh shit, he's gonna have something. Oh, but this Tornado Bringer, he is putting Tornado work. So yeah, I get to go against the Worm Guy again. Oh, yes! Yes, Star Drawing! Awesome, I can actually do something now. So. That's so awesome. I can actually I can go with like the super play. 
Damn, he was just like, just like, it. he's like, I've been waiting for this bottomless. I've been waiting for this bottomless all day. Okay, sure. So it's like, okay, it's cool to do a, the worm guy again. So, uh, you know, we roll a die. He goes first. He sets a ton of back row. Okay. So, uh... Whatever. <laughs> I, what, you thought you can fiendish chain me? Um, sons of Tenor background. So I play a card. I play graphic bottomless. Like, sure. Okay. So I could, I, I'm, I'll, I pass to him, and then he goes. So I know I go summon a monk, pitch a spell, summon Armageddon, drop a dark, try to make a chain. Bottomless. Like, okay. Yeah. Keep in mind that I run, like, MSTs and Lances and, and all that good stuff on it. Uh, nice stuff that people like to play. This guy is just stalling. He's just holding on for dear life. Like, you're running Constellas. If it wasn't for this, I'd be screwed. But, uh, since I am, and this guy, eh, this is just making miracles right now. And he didn't go for, uh, Pleiades. Anyway. Is that game, or you got something else? Anyways, uh, you know, at this point, he's just playing so many, uh, one-up cards, there's nothing I can do, so, uh, pretty much try to go, so, uh, my life points are low, wow. Where were you guys earlier in the game, like, at the beginning of the game? So, I try to do, like, a last-ditch effort, and I try to go for this big old play, and solemn judgment. So, I was like, yeah, you got it, I got nothing left, you, you stopped me from doing every single little thing that I was thinking about doing. So, you got it. So, I was like, okay, round two. So, you know, pick up, go to round two. So, I go first, and I do my play. As soon as I try to something, so we set some back row, it's his turn. So, I try to play something. Keep in mind that I'm going against Worm Max and Yagin and all that good stuff. So, at this point, this is game. Yep, that's game. Oh, now you come, Varian. <laughs> There we go. Be Constellers. Alright, well, I'm not done talking, so I'm gonna give you guys one more duel, so I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So, you know, I try to go through with my plays again. Yes! Yes, I get to draw a card. That's so good. I actually put this in here now. Not bad. Not bad. Do you have a response, sir? Or are you just gonna just maxi me out of the gate? You know. I'm kind of going first. Okay. Yes, I love that to the effect. Maxi? Yep. You can always tell. So you draw a card, and I'll draw a card. So, you know, we're starting to play, and I try to go with my plays again, and guess what I get hit with? Bottomless. Like, Okay, here we go again. So, I get bottomless, I, I pass it to him, he plays his stars, and I play, try to play another card, and guess what? Bottomless! And it's like, okay, let me try, this is getting kind of annoying, you know, you're getting these bottomless, it's kind of getting on my nerves, you know, he's doing this a lot, a lot, a lot. So, I was just like, okay, well, keep on going with your plays. So, let's try one more time with the play, and guess what I get hit with? Solemn Judgment. Like, did you stack your deck, you know? Like, what, 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 is, what is going on here? What, what, why, why are you doing this to me? So, at this point, I'm at a thousand life points left. He has, you know, wound up the crap out of me. So, I summon a Dark Graffer, and, uh, no, by this point, wow. Yep. I thought I'd been pretty cool, you know, do that play. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Really? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
you got the OTK. Because I'm not going to sit here and watch him play with himself. If you got the OTK, you got the OTK. I, I, I really don't care. But you know what? Screw it. You guys can just watch him OTK me while I just talk. You know you do. It's okay. Uh, it's freaking kind of curries. That's all they do is OTK. Oh. No? No, essentially, this is what happened. The same exact thing that happened with the damn heroes. No? No, dark hole me and just get the best hand. Go, blop, 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 OTK. Like, yep. Yep. That's Yu Gi Oh for you. Yu Gi Oh. Summon your burrito. So, uh. At this point, I'm a thousand life points left. I summon Greffer. At this point, he's low on resources. So, Greffer is, you know, a pretty good beater. So, he summons two level fours. No? And you know what he proceeds to do? Keep in mind that my life points are at a thousand. Wait, did you guys say Black Ship of Corn? Yeah, I got Black Ship of Corn. Yep. Game. And you know what he proceeded to do? Do you know what he proceeded to do? He reached across the table and he said, Good game. Like, no. 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 You can take your victory. I don't care. Ain't shaking your hand. No, no, none of that good game. Because that wasn't a good game. All you do is one up me. Both games, I didn't touch his life points. He was at 8,000 both games. With the bottom assists and the solemn warnings, I never got to do anything. He upped the crap out of me. Wow. This is the game that I'm playing. Yeah. Yu Gi Oh! Yes! Love it, don't you? Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, at this point, you know, I'm, I pretty much had to drop, you know. There was absolutely nothing I could do. Just like with this hand right here, there's, there's absolutely nothing I could do. So, <laughs> you know, if Beast wasn't here, I might be able to you know, pull something out of my butt. You know, I might be able to go like, this diffusion with the this and, you know, Topia turn into the butt. But no, no, Beast is just going to completely negate everything that I do. Every spell card that I even think about activating. So, just like in real life, and on here, I'm screwed. Eh, whatever. Might as well activate it. It's not like... Go ahead. N beast negate. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter anymore. I don't care. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, yeah. That's why I didn't feel like playing on Sunday, because I just got, you know, sapped and scrubbed out completely on... On uh, sat Saturday, so I just didn't want to play anymore. So, come to get into that point right now. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to play anymore. This is, this is getting dumb. No, this is just. Go ahead. I got nothing. I got nothing, and you win. Nothing. <sighs> So, I didn't enter Saturday, but they were still doing giveaways. They're not even traps, dude. They're not even traps. You got it. Just end the duel! Huh? Yeah, I know. I know. I totally lose. I had nothing. Oh, well, I had something, but in the end, it was nothing. <laughs> so, uh, you know... You still get to see what I uh, opened with the sneak peek, because I did a second one. And, uh, actually, you know, a good thing is that, uh, actually, since they were doing giveaways for, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Appreciation Day, uh, they actually gave us, like, a lottery tickets, and they did drawings for the, uh, Judgment of Light mat, and I won, yeah. So I got the Judgment of Light mat with the Topia Ray victory, which, I'm thinking about maybe putting them in here, but, you know, I like V better. I think V is just way better than victory. V can just lock it down by himself. He's like a... He's like a, uh, Volcasaurus Sky Charger, just in one button, you know? This, this, he, uh, Utopia Ray Victory is kind of like, ooh, yay, I guess. <laughs> so, that was pretty much it. So, next weekend, yes, next weekend is it? Next weekend is Worlds, guys. And do you know where Worlds is in? Worlds is in Vegas. And do you know where I live? You might not, not know this one. I live in Vegas. So guess what? Going to Worlds? Yeah, I'm going to Worlds. Uh, uh, I've been recording on my friend's phone. So 
Uh, the quality is not the best, but if you guys want like videos or something like that, uh, I try my best. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be trying to sneak around worlds, get really sneaky with it. Try to search for the ban list because I know it's there, hidden. So I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna leak it. But no, I would really like to see if maybe just maybe just a hint of the ban list is there. Just you know, get a gist of it. There was actually like a fake ban list that it was just so badly fake that it's not even funny. Like. Literally, all I did was just take the ban list of March and just put paste, cut, and just Photoshop pictures on it. It didn't even change the date. Literally, it still says, like, like, 3-1. Like, okay, yeah. Totally great Photoshop, you know. Now, it wasn't a bad list. It wasn't a bad list. It was, like, pretty much a good chunk of what I would agree on. Like, when I saw it, my spider being a fake list, I was like, okay, okay. It was, like, Super Juve and card destruction band which uh, I said on my list if you haven't seen my list already go ahead it, the link is in the description go ahead click it go ahead and view it uh, tell me what you guys think uh, but yeah so I said um, he said to one he said Thunder King which is what I said and Dragoons which is what I said so you know I'm already up he said semi limit he said one for one and uh, Gale which is eh, okay okay and um, to three, he said. What did he say? I think he said Tsukiyomi, and I'm, I can't. Don't quote me on Tsukiyomi because I can't remember if it was like Tsukiyomi or something like that. And uh, the Herotic Seal, you know. So I didn't really say the Herotic Seal. It's not, you know, it's whatever. It's a deck that's bygone. I really don't see that Konami taking that card off anytime soon. So, yeah. So, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, right, Worlds. Yeah, so, uh, this upcoming weekend is Worlds, Saturday and Sunday, so, uh, I got a car. I'm gonna go drive down there. Uh, you know, going in is free, uh, the side events are free, so, you know, I'm just gonna have a good time. If I had a video camera, I would record it with a video camera, but all I got right now is a cell phone, so I apologize. But hey, at least you're getting some live videos, you know, you don't get those often, so, uh, you know, it's, it's cool, pretty cool, right? You know, you guys really like the, the, uh, Judgment of Light sneak peek part one. Uh, part two is really short, so, uh, no, don't get your hopes up, it's gonna be like, uh, because I was actually recording it with my friend, and I was opening the packs, and, uh, his phone got, memory got full. So I was like, well, you know what, forget it. You know, how about I'm just going to open the packs, put all the cards that I got, and uh, just delete the previous video, and just record um, this one, and just basically just record and show what I pulled for them. So that's pretty much it. So the video is not even that long. I think it's like maybe like a few seconds long, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? So this video went long. <laughs> this video went on long enough. So, uh... You guys might actually get like a special video for uh, maybe like daily duels. Actually, I might do it just a separate video. I don't know, but uh, look forward to like a, maybe another special. Uh, don't expect these specials every day, but uh, you know, expect another special coming up. So I will see you guys tomorrow, daily duels with uh, Bujin. Wow, I almost totally forgot what the hell. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be doing that. I almost had a brain aneurysm. I'm like, what the hell is for daily duels tomorrow? I was like, I didn't even want to say herpes. I could have said herpes, but no, I, I said I couldn't think of it. But yeah, Bujins. You know, Bujins are out. And, uh, you know, people are trying to make the deck. So, uh, you know, if you're trying to make the deck, go ahead, go, you guys can go ahead and see what I got so far. It's pretty much just a big old one up. So I'm going to turn around and do the same thing to everybody else. It's going to feel pretty good, pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And thank you all, guys, for the support. Thanks for watching.